Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murders of Alan Mark Alexander and Michael Dion McCall. Both were shot and killed on Thursday, April 29, 2010 in the 1000 block of East Mission Boulevard in Pomona, according to LA County Coroner Records. Pedro Martinez was subsequently arrested and charged with the murders. The following is the evidence at trial. Robert Ali bought marijuana from defendant Martinez several times in March and April of 2010. Ali initiated each transaction by calling defendant and telling him how much marijuana he wanted, which was usually $10 to $20 worth. Ali then drove to the front of a mobile home park in Pomona, where defendant met him on a bicycle. After taking Ollie's money, defendant rode his bike into the mobile home park and returned with the marijuana. At around 10 p.m. on April 29, 2010, Ollie called defendant Martinez, whom he knew as P-Dog, and said he wanted to buy $10 worth of marijuana. After defendant agreed to the purchase, Ollie was picked up by his friend Michael McCall. Alan Alexander, whom Ollie didn't know, was sitting in the front passenger seat. Ali got in the back seat and directed McCall to the mobile home park where the transaction was to take place. Defendant was waiting for them when they arrived. After Ali handed defendant a $10 bill, defendant rode away and returned a few minutes later with a bag of marijuana that was much smaller than Ali's previous purchases. Defendant told Ali it's AZ, which is the name of a higher quality marijuana from Arizona. Ali said, nah, this ain't gonna work and asked defendant to give him $5 back. Defendant told Ollie to wait and rolled back into the mobile home park with the bag of marijuana. After several minutes, Ollie called defendant and asked where he was. Defendant replied, I'll be out and hung up. Shortly thereafter, Ollie heard what he initially thought were firecrackers. Ollie got out of McCall's car and saw defendant shooting at him from the front of the car. Ollie was shot in the back and the leg. He ran to the back of the car where he fell and lost consciousness. Police arrived at the scene at about 10.40 p.m. in response to calls reporting that shots had been fired. Ollie was lying face down behind McCall's car and was alive but unresponsive. McCall and Alexander were inside the car and were both dead from gunshot wounds to the torso. Two bullet holes were visible in the windshield and four 30 30 caliber shell casings were found lying in the street. Ollie spent a month in the hospital. As a result of his injuries, He's unable to walk and one of his lungs had to be removed. When he was interviewed on May 11, 2010, he was afraid to tell the detective everything that had happened on the night of the shooting. He reported that he went to the location to buy marijuana from P-Dog, but claimed that he didn't know who had shot him. At trial, however, he acknowledged knowing at the time that P-Dog was the shooter. After defendant Martinez and Max Hernandez were arrested, they were placed together in a cell that was wired to record their conversations. Hernandez told defendant that he was terminally ill and that doctors said he would die within a year. At one point, defendant and Hernandez agreed that they would tell police everything in exchange for a 20-year prison sentence. Defendant later told Hernandez that since Hernandez only had a year to live, defendant was going to tell the police that Hernandez shot the victims and that defendant was just in the car and didn't know what was happening. Hernandez agreed that he would also tell this to the police. Following the trial, Pedro Martinez was convicted of two counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted premeditated murder, including gun and multiple murder allegations. The court sentenced him to two consecutive terms of life without the possibility of parole and two consecutive terms of 25 years to life for the enhancements. Alan Mark Alexander was 48 years old at the time of death. Michael Dion McCall was 44 years old at the time of death. 